In this video, I wanna talk about how much bartenders make. How much can you expect to make as a working bartender, either just starting out or, you know, what's the range? And it, while it does vary widely, actually 80 to 90% of bartenders average around 20,000 a year which doesn't sound like a lot of money. And to be completely honest, you should never look at bartending as like a way to get rich. And a lot of people get into this not because of the money. They're looking to just like make extra money or it's just kind of a fun job that they wanna accent their life and they want sort of a social outlet. So 80 to 90%, maybe more, depending on what statistics you look at, is right around $20,000 a year. Now, of course, these numbers are a little bit low because a large portion of tips are not calculated into this number. So this number will range up a little bit, but not drastically. You could probably bump that maybe $10,000 a year. So you're still looking around $30,000 a year is a pretty solid average for 90% plus of the bartenders out there. But even at $20,000 a year, what does that mean? So I did, I did a little bit of math to figure out what does that equate to an average for you to be able to make. And we're talking about just tips here. So your hourly rate will be on top of this. For me, it's averages like out to like an extra shift that you're making from tips every two weeks. So it's not a significant amount of income, but depending on where you work, you might have a higher hourly rate. Um, I generally just kind of look at my paycheck as like paying my taxes. So I don't really count on that as a main form of my income. But doing the math just from tips, you know, how much does it take, you know, how much do you need to average per shift to make, you know, 50,000 a year, 10, 20,000 a year, 100,000 a year. I actually did the math for 20,000 a year and then on the high end at 100,000, that's kind of like the holy grail of most careers actually is the, to get to that six figure mark. The way I broke this down is number of shifts per week. Generally as a full-time bartender, you're looking at four or five shifts a week. It's actually rare to get over five shifts and your most bartenders are probably only working about four shifts a week. So that's kind of the tricky thing about bartending is it's really hard to work a lot. I mean, sometimes it's, you know, you can, this isn't a hard and fast rule, but it, especially if you're working at a really busy place and you're making really good money, it's hard to get more than four shifts a week. You know, five shifts a week tends to be um, a full-time bartender, even though if you compare that on hourly rate, you're, that's like 30 hours a week. So I broke it down by shifts. So if we're assuming 52 weeks in the year, I cut that to 50 weeks just to make the math easy, but also because you're generally gonna take some time off or even just the accumulated day off here or there, or getting sick here or there, you'll work on average probably 50 weeks a year. And if you're not taking at least a week off a year, then you need to do that. It's just good for your soul, it's good for your mind, and you need to just kind of take a break sometimes. So if you're working 50 weeks and you have five shifts per week, that equates to 250 shifts during the year. That means that if you wanna make 20,000 from tips, you need to average $80 per shift. Now, if you're only working four shifts a week, that's 200 shifts. And that means that you need to make $100 per shift you need to average $100 per shift to make $20,000 a year. I don't know why, but there's this idea that you can make a lot of money as a bartender. And I think it's just because there are those flashy instances where you make four or five, $600 a shift, but those are not the norm. They can be the norm, but in a very, very few situations. You know, I've definitely had every so often we'll make, you know, four or 500 bucks a shift, but it's not the standard norm. My average is probably about half that for my shifts and maybe a little bit under just depending on the time of the year. So while it is possible to make that kind of money regularly, you know, if there's nightclub bartenders out there, you're probably watching this going like, hey, I make four, five, six, seven hundred dollars a shift every shift. But the thing is, is like, how often are you doing that? You're doing that maybe once or twice a week or if you're in that very tiny select group where you're making that kind of money five days a week, then bravo, but that's not the average. So the other kind of dirty trick about bartending, especially when you look at like nightclub bartenders, is that they will be making tons of money, no doubt, but it's really hard to have more than like one or two or maybe three shifts a week in a place like that. Like most cities, the way most metropolitan bars pump, the crowd kind of moves around a bit. So this place will pump a night or two a week, this place will pump a night or two a week, this place will pump a night or two a week. 
So as a bartender at a hot club, you may be making, you know, 80 bucks to 100 bucks and then you'll have one or two nights that pops off and you make three, four hundred bucks. So it's really hard to find a four or five shift a week bar where you're making $400. And the reason I say 400 bucks is that's kind of the $100,000 holy grail. In a very few instances, it is possible to make $100,000 a year. A few people do it. Generally, this is honed in on a few very high-end bars or extremely high volume places like nightclubs. Uh, a lot of people like to say like, oh, well can't, you know, a lot of people have this idea that a lot of bartenders in Las Vegas make $100,000 a year, which is totally not the case. The average, even if you look at the average bartender salary in Las Vegas is exactly the same around twenty to $30,000 a year. So just uprooting everything and moving to Vegas as a bartender, hoping to be a bartender making $100,000 a year isn't necessarily the smartest way to do it. Now, of course, there are nightclubs in Las Vegas or day clubs or you know pool party clubs or whatever where people make massive amounts of money that if they could work four, five, six shifts a week, you're definitely making $100,000. But it's the, like I said, the small, very rare end of the spectrum and it's not sustainable. The $100,000 a year mark, that means working, same thing, 50 weeks, five or four shifts a week how much do you have to average per shift to make $100,000? Five shifts per week, so you're working 250 shifts, that means you need to average $400 a shift. That's why I was saying that. Average $400 per shift. Now, and if you're only working four shifts a week, which is 200 shifts, that means you need to average $500 a shift. $500 a shift average over an entire year is an extremely tiny percentage of bartenders. So while it is theoretically possible to make this kind of money as a bartender, it's not very common. And again, why I say that you shouldn't be looking at bartending as a way to get rich. It should be a lifestyle. It should be something you enjoy. It should be something that you do because it gives you tremendous flexibility in your schedule, which is why I've stayed a bartender for as long as I have. That doesn't mean there aren't tons of opportunities to make a good living in all sorts of other bars. And this is a great skill set industry where you can go pretty much anywhere in the world and be able to get yourself a job. So it's a great working man, working woman's trade job. Obviously, it's a lot of fun. It's very social. You get plugged in with a lot of people. It's great networking, but you should never go into bartending looking to make a lot of money. There you go. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight. Hopefully that's not too much of a downer, but hopefully it gives you a realistic understanding of what you can make as a bartender. Thank you very much for being a viewer, for being a subscriber. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below this video. That's it for now. The whole point of this is to help make you a bartending pro. So I'll see you next time. Take care.